Vipin is saying, being in waking state practices, I realized being experiencer is always associated with the present moment. But what does it mean? Awareness happens after the event has happened or after there was a dream. Some gap is there in understanding. It does not mean that the experiencer came back after the event. It does not mean like this. You see, experiencer is there in the present. Experiencer is there in the past and experiencer is there in the future. Why? Because it is timeless. When is the past? It is now. When is the future? It is now. The experiencer is always now. But the memory can be there and you can see that in, in your memory, you can see that there was no awareness, there was no knowledge of it when it happened. But the experiencer is always there. So when can you be aware? You can be aware now only because you see, awareness is not a memory. Awareness is simply a realization that, look, I am the witness. I am that which, exper which is experiencing the illusion. This much is the awareness. This thought, this knowledge, this intelligence is the awareness. Now, when can this come? This can come only now. And if it happens related to a past memory, no problem at all. It is still good. Don't think that, oh, that event, it happened without awareness, in darkness, total, mechanically. So now it is useless to think about it. No, no. You can become aware like this, that look, that happened and there was no awareness. The mind knows nothing about the past, nothing about the future actually. The mind will simply take it as it is happening now and you are aware now. Sometimes I give a ritual like thing that you sit down and like a video you play back the event in your mind and this time it should be witnessed with full awareness. I am telling you the mind knows no difference between what is being played and what is really happening. It has no way to know it. That is also illusion, this is also illusion. It will think that it is the real event now but it is happening in awareness. So the karmic substance that was the dirt that was taken on when there was no awareness will be neutralized now when you are playing it back in awareness. It is some kind of forgiving actually. In, in the Tantra we can call it forgiving. Same thing, same method is being used here. I have told this method somewhere I think that there are three, three kinds of awarenesses. You can say three steps of awareness. That initially you will be blown away by the events in the life. Won't be the, there won't be any awareness, which is not a big thing actually. That is how you have lived, <laughs> so normal thing. But then after a few days or few hours, the awareness comes. Oh, it happened without knowledge. Now this is, you see, very natural that we come to know that some events happened without awareness. There is nothing to worry. The mind has no way to distinguish the past from the present and the experiencer, well, for it, past means nothing at all. The same stream of sounds and uh, visions and uh, all these things, emotions and thoughts, for experiencer, same thing. Don't even think that, oh, this is past now, I should not I should be careful in the future. No, no, you can be uh, aware in the past like this. Bring in the awareness of that event. Present, you already know how to be present, how to do it in the present moment. It is not a job that you need to do. It is a state that you need to be in. It is more awake than the usual wakefulness. It is with knowledge. The intellect is filled with knowledge while it is doing the ordinary task of handling the situation. You don't need to do anything extraordinary also and you will find that you are actually not inclined to do anything at all. All that is unnecessary will not be done if your intelligence is at the level of awareness. Remember, awareness is just another layer of intelligence, just another layer of the memory where the thought is that I am the experiencer. It's filled with knowledge, light, so you will see see that, you know, you are doing the same ordinary thing or you are not even doing that. You, it cuts down to 90% the activities, you know, they are reduced by 90% and then you do whatever, you know, full awareness and continue. I won't say forget, don't forget, remember, <laughs> it's not going to cause a karmic uh, deposit in the causal body. Nothing to worry at all, you see, it is burnt, it is gone. What will be deposited in the memory is the awareness that you know, illusion happened and I was aware of it. 
that much impression will be there in your memory which is good isn't it because it it will be very useful in the next birth you will be born aware see how beautiful it is because the impressions are being stored in the causal body if you spend most of your life like this especially the end time of your life the old age if you spend in awareness you will find that you are born in awareness with whole knowledge of everything including the world in knowledge of arts and sciences skills and you get to choose your birth and is it that is in kind of beyond your experience but all this will happen which we dream of and then you see being aware before ab- the event happens that is the ability that very few people have it is not planning to become aware you see okay i am going to do something in the future let me become aware from now onwards no 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 what is it it is becoming aware of what will be the result of my actions what should i do because the event is not happening right now it is future so you become aware of that event even before it has happened so that you are absolutely ready when it happens like you are meeting somebody who do, whom you don't like can be anybody relative or your boss or anybody you see and uh, once you decide to do that i need to meet him there onwards you can start thinking about how the reactions will be there and how uh, what is my habitual reaction what is the habitual reaction of that person and so on you see there will be already fear and anger and whatever negativity in you competition jealousy whatever is there you see attraction lust if you need to become ready for that in full awareness and when that event happens you will see that it is like very very smooth it will be always like this you don't need to do too much you can get away without acting sometimes so these are the three three stages of awareness that will cause a total awareness in the waking state now this habit that you have formed here will spill into dreams you will find the dreams are gone totally or they become like a movie in front of you sometimes it looks like a movie is playing and you know it's complete garbage you say what is it that is awareness actually awareness in the dream and then there will be awareness in the projected state which is a difficult topic so i don't talk too much about it it is explained a lot in the hindi videos but not so much in the english you see there is a lot of material about it on the internet already so i did not bother which is not our path actually it's a tantric path so that will spill in the uh, projected state which is our natural state that happens every night or whenever you sleep and uh, it will spill in the uh, sleep you don't need to do too much you know like people ask me this question you know there is no technique to become aware in the sleep i said <laughs> can you do a technique when you are sleeping <laughs> can you do it can you imagine things can you chant the mantra in your deep sleep oh, no i cannot do it okay that's why there is no technique simple your waking awareness will spill into the sleep wait for it no no tell me something about the death same thing if you are aware especially in the last few days of your life this life death is guaranteed to happen in awareness the awareness is like a reflex of the uh, this martial art player or the warrior he is normal but as soon as he is attacked can you see it takes a millisecond for him to be in position and to defend that is how awareness should be like something happened and you need to be absolutely aware at that time i am going to insult somebody now because they cannot write in the program okay the awareness should be there immediately the words should be measured now and now i cannot talk loosely somebody may get hurt there <laughs> but they need to get hurt you know otherwise how will they improve so it is like this it should be like a reflex and when you know that i am going to die now by i am i mean you see the body so it should come back like a reflex okay i cannot see now okay i cannot breathe now okay the consciousness is leaving me okay the the five senses are leaving me this should be a reflex all the time when the death is happening and if you have done the projections and all these things dreams like, like it is child's play for you now death is a permanent projection isn't it there is no coming back in the same body i mean in the same world so it is so easy it is so easy if you understand then it is easy if you think oh, awareness 
let me see which mantra it involves what ritual there is and do i need to stop eating onions to be aware and now it is total garbage now you're not on the path you're not listening to guru at all what you're reading and listening is you know noodle soup in your mind because too many paths too many words nonsense words no discipline so no awareness why do i keep saying these things you see because you see the end result is awareness end result of the program and if when i see no awareness i know what happened there this exam that we do is actually not really the exam your real exam is your awareness your life is your exam isn't it our lives are our test and you know guru field they are very notorious very naughty people they will set up something in your life to test your awareness always the more grace they have you know the more difficult your life will be <laughs> now i'm just joking you say they also assist in doing this practice what is my exam doing what is my test doing you know i i can tell you honestly it is for the security purpose only by taking your exam by taking your test i make sure that you are not going to harm yourself by doing this practices experiments that is the honest answer do i really care how much knowledge you have no it is your path no i can only as answer your questions i can only clear your doubts it is not my goal to make you knowledgeable gyani but i need to ensure that you don't go in the practices without taking the minimal knowledge at least so that is when i am sure about it then i say okay go ahead i know you know even there also people are going to fail but as you know this is a simply a filtering mechanism that's all it is